Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Techie Sugan. In this video, we are going to learn about introduction to Python, features of Python, who uses Python, why Python. These are the topics we are going to cover in this video. We'll start with introduction to Python. Guido Van Dusen is the person who introduced Python in the year 1989. And this Python is very simple and easy to learn. Only basic English knowledge is required to update this Python. No pro no programming knowledge is required. For example, if you want to add two numbers, I can just give print 2 plus 3. So what happens here? The addition of these two numbers is going to be printed. For understanding this code, only basic English knowledge is required. No programming knowledge is required. And whenever I say a programming language, programming language either comes under interpreter based programming language or compiler based programming language. First, let us understand what is compilation. Compilation is the process of conversion of source code to machine code. Whatever the code we are writing is a source code and whatever the code machine understands is the machine code. That's nothing but a binary language. So the process of conversion of source code to machine code is called compilation. And how this compilation occurs? Either line by line or as an entire set of code. Depending on this, a programming language is said to be a compiler based programming language or an interpreter based programming language. When this conversion happens as line by line, this particular process is called interpreter based programming language. Once it encounters an error, it stops the result during the compilation and we are supposed to debug it and then it moves on to next line. This is in case of interpreter based programming language. Whenever the particular programming language is a compiler based programming language, whenever there is a 10 lines of code, the 10 lines of code will be converted to machine code and at the end of the conversion, it will throw the success message or whatever the error is there. This is in case of compiler based programming language. This Python comes under interpreter based programming language. And one more thing, whenever I never pro name a programming language, a programming language may comes under object oriented programming language or a procedure oriented programming language. Whenever I say a programming language is an object oriented programming language, the programs can be written only by using functions. For example, C programming language is a procedure oriented programming language. Just a minute. Whenever I mean a procedure oriented programming language, the programs can be written only by using a function. That is nothing but procedure oriented programming language. Example is C. And whenever I mean an object oriented programming language, the programs are written by using class and object. For example, Java, .NET, all those things comes under object oriented programming language where the program is written by using class and objects. And what about this? Python. Python comes under object oriented as well as procedure oriented. It is a bilingual language. Clear? It supports both the futures. This and moreover and this Python is a high level programming language. This is all about introduction to Python and next we will move on to futures of Python. As we said Python is very simple and easy to learn and only basic English knowledge is required. Whomever have a, has a basic English knowledge they can update python very easily and python is free and open source what is meant by free there is it is not chargeable to use python whenever you are learning certain programming language where you should aware about whether the particular language is a free or it is a paid one if it is free there is no need of paying anything for using python and python is a open source whenever i mean a open source the code of python can be taken where the scripts, scripts can be added and can be published clear this is in case of open source where the code of python is available for everyone clear this is the reason where python is keep on booming where the users are adding n number of modules and their own idea and it is moreover free to use and python is a portable language what is portable in the sense portable in the sense I can write a program in one operating system and it can be implemented in the other operating system without any compatibility issue. Let me say example where, you're, where your client is requesting you to develop an application. You have a Windows machine and your client has Mac machine or Ubuntu machine. Your application development in a Windows machine can be implemented in Ubuntu or Mac machine without any compatibility issue. This is the case where portable clear where Python is a portable language. And it supports different programming paradigm. Here I mean is nothing but Python supports both object oriented as well as procedure oriented futures. And Python is an extensible language. Whenever I mean an extensible, 
If you want to implement some modules of C++ or Java in your program, it is easily possible in case of Python. That is the reason I will name that Python is an extensible programming language. This is all about features of Python and next we will move on to who uses Python. There are various companies using Python. Here I have listed out only the famous 16 companies those are using Python. These are the companies which is using Python as certain part of their application. We will see with the few examples and where they are using with it. First we will move on to YouTube. Whenever I name YouTube, the first thing strike in mind is video, videos. The part of video sharing services is written by using Python. And next we will move on to Google. Whenever I mean Google, Google is famous for mail, 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 mail purpose as well as for your search engines. And where this searching algorithm is written by using Python code in backend. And next is Dropbox. Whenever Dropbox it is used for storage services of data either from the client side or in a server side where storage services code of this data in server side as well as client side is written by using Python. And next BitTorrent. Whenever I mean that BitTorrent we know that we will be using it for file sharing. This peer to peer file sharing script has been written by using Python. And even NASA uses Python for scripting, for scientific scripting they are using it and for secret information transfer that is nothing but cryptography they are using Python and for artificial intelligence, data science everywhere Python is being used. And next Netflix, in case of Netflix where software infrastructure of Netflix is written by using Python. These are the few companies I have mentioned here who uses Python extensively and there are a lot of users. If you want to know, just browse it and find it out. And next, we will move on to why Python. Why Python in the sense, Python is keep on booming and we are using in various industries. Previously, Python is not used such a way and right now, Python is implemented in various industries such as data analysis, web development, testing, web scrapping, gaming, data, uh, data, uh, data science, machine learning, everywhere Python is being used. All those things comes under data analysis itself and whenever you are implementing data analysis we will go along with some framework called pandas lot of frameworks are there just have mentioned one or two frameworks here and for web development we will go with django and for testing we will go with selenium and so on we will be using concern framework for each and every type of implementation this is all about why python i hope so you are clear with this video if at all you like this video subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon Thank you.